On a pleasant good Wednesday morning, it's the 7th day of September 2022. Yes, we're still in the midst of this heat wave here. It's been going on for all, about a week now. Who knows when this, well, it's finally going to end on Friday, though. That's the good news. It's finally going to get cooler. And um, also the weather, we're going to have some rain this weekend. And yeah, that's going to bump the temperatures down. Yeah, the, the 90s will be gone. The 80s will be here. And by next week, it's going to be closer to normal. And yeah. So yes, it was 93 yesterday. It's going to be about 95 today. Uh, Friday's supposed to be hot again, with temperatures reaching 100 almost. And September is one of the hottest months of the year. Yeah, August and September is usually when we have our heat. And usually by October, it starts to get cooler. And the nights are going to get cooler too. I mean, well, also a happy birthday going out to Kevin Love. Um, Easy E, rest in peace. Also to Sonny Rollins and also a happy birthday to Jason Easringhausen and to Mark Pryor, our pitching coach. And to former pitching coach Dave Wallace, and also to uh, Joe Rudy, and to Sa Sa Sandy Alcantara's as well, and and to Wade Davis. Yeah, this heat wave is still going on, like I said, and yeah. You notice all that smoke in the sky? Those are from all those wildfires going burning up in Big Bear and uh, Hemet. Yeah, September's also fire season too. Yeah, there's always fires going on in, across Southern California and yeah, it's, but hopefully the, the thunderstorms and the rain are gonna put part of the fire out and yeah, it's, it's pretty smoky. And it's still very warm and muggy right now as well it's already like 75 degrees with 80 percent humidity and yeah hopefully the once the weather gets cooler it's going to feel a lot better i mean who would expect a heat wave to last more than a week i mean just go back to 1955 it was a lot worse yeah from the very end of august to the first week of september we had triple digit heat in Los Angeles, the first, yeah, it was a long heat wave too. Uh, meanwhile, the Dodgers have a day game against the Giants and it's the rubber game. And yes, the Giants have already been eliminated from the Western Division race already. And so are the Diamondbacks. So all that's left are the Dodgers and Padres and the magic numbers at seven. Let's try to reduce it down to six tonight as well, or even five. I mean, if we beat the Giants and the Padres lose, it will be down to five. And the earliest we can clinch our division is September 11th. But I'd say we do win it sometime next week, either in San Diego or possibly in Arizona. But yeah, we're going to get it done, though. And Kershaw's pitching tonight. And if we win the Western Division, it will be our ninth NL West title in 10 years, with the exception of last year, but last year was a fluke. Uh, the Angels, on the other hand, have one more game against the Tigers, but the Angels have pretty much been eliminated from, well, they're already eliminated from, from the AL West and likely the wild card too. So they're math mathematically alive, but Seattle's probably going to win the first wild card, and so will Toronto and Tampa, the way it's looking. And not surprisingly, the Mets and Braves are tied for first place in the NL East. Yeah, the Braves just keep winning, and the Mets are falling apart. But should they finish tied, the team whoever won the season series will be the division winner. And... 
Well, the Cardinals are already taking care of business in the NL Central, and the AL Central race is pretty tight. The Yankees still have a four-game lead over the Rays, and Houston's probably going to wrap up the AL West, too. I don't think Seattle can catch him. All right, well, have a good rest of your Wednesday. I'll catch you all later. So today, let's go Dodgers and let's go Diamondbacks. Amen.